Steve Mann, the meet director of the 2020 Collegiate Nationals. I want to put together a quick video following up yesterday. It's Friday, March the 13th. And I wanted to give a little background. Yesterday I hit a topic that I knew would anger some regarding refunds. Um, the event scheduled for April 2nd through the 5th um, in State College, there's a lot of investment, there's a lot of work that goes into it. In this room is my basically equipment that I've been using at a contest in Raw Nationals, High School Nationals, Collegiate Nationals, Bench Nationals, and six, seven, eight events a year here in Pennsylvania. But as in preparation for, the, for this event and trying to give, give Collegiate Nationals the best possible equipment, I have sold all of this equipment. All of this equipment is being picked up, scheduled to be picked up April the 6th, uh, as I have upgraded my entire setup to promote and get a, the best possible platform for Collegiate Nationals. Um, I went to an all Alico setup. Alico setup is extremely expensive. So in this room, in the skids, you'll see equipment that is all the Alico stuff and then the green there and the plastic. Basically, I'm putting things together, assembling things for, for the contest to be used for the first time. There's another room full of skids similar to this. You'll notice in the background there's TVs crowd control and more trusses the trusses I use for the back end of the stage so I wanted to give that along with building live stream computers it's pretty normal for me to run two platform events and I have the infrastructure to run a two platform event but five platform I have not equipped to run a five platform every day of the week but I can run two um, so that investment has already occurred some of which uh, is not, you know, you're not being able to, uh, especially with some of the electronics and stuff, you're just, you, you build a computer, you can maybe sell it for whatever, half what you built it for. It's very specific for live streaming. So um, I just wanted to give you that background as capital of stuff and merchandise and t-shirts and, and staffing associated to preparation for the event. They, um, so a lot of them funding from the entries is not liquid. It is held up in things that we're not going to be able to reoccur if we have to cancel and refund everybody. And I'd like to keep promoting powerlifting events. And I've been running events since the 90s. And I would like to continue to do that. Even if I liquidate everything in my garage um, for whatever I can get for it, yard sale it, fire sale, I still wouldn't be able to repay everyone because... The value I purchased for would not, it would not be able to give, get the value back um, in that quick of a manner. So th let's, that's the start of the conversation. So let's jump to what's the status. The status is actually not changed, which is bizarre. I know. The status is we're still not canceled the event. And by the way, I personally cannot cancel this event. This is event sanctioned and run by, op this is under USA Powerlifting. They make that decision. They contract me to run the event um, and they need to cancel or reschedule. So when you hear cancel, reschedule, or you're asking me if it's canceled or rescheduled, I can only give a status if it's already been given and it hasn't yet. So I would look for the national office, but what am I doing? So behind the curtain here, uh, the wrestling event at Penn State is still still scheduled, not canceled. But most everything else is canceled at Penn State. Uh, most schools everywhere are starting to cancel or are already prohibiting people from doing things. So what I'm doing in preparation is I'm trying to find a new venue. I'm trying to find it, and not now, because there's no place right now that will let you come, and that doesn't, most of the teams that are canceling on or withdrawing from the event aren't going to be able to come period so that solution doesn't work so i asked myself what's a good date i don't know what a good date is at this point in time it would be a guess um so here's my guess my guess is april may it's not going to work my guess is um maybe not june but don't know but that's summer so that's not going to work well, 
that's the only option right now that I could see. We're not going to run collegiate nationals in the fall. And we're not going to be able to run it next April and May. So if we're going to reschedule, we're going to have to look at the summer time frame. Um, so I know that will exclude some of you guys. Uh, we're not going to exclude you if you graduated. If you're eligible right now, as far as I'm concerned, I'll let the collegiate committee decide this probably because they make the final call. But if you are eligible for this spring's collegiate nationals, my perspective is you should be allowed to lift. And everybody who's entered in the event, whether you've withdrawn or not, will have a spot at Collegiate Nationals when we reschedule, if we reschedule. So, I don't have a lot of detail on that. I'm working on, I have a prospective venue that uh, kind of fits a good spot. Um, but right now, talking to a venue that's a good spot this week, um, they're going through the same coronavirus issues we are. Um, everybody is. So... I'm not going to be able to get a date or a venue probably for men a couple weeks. Um, and that's, again, if USA Powerlifting cancels and reschedules. Um, so I'm just giving you what I know at this point in time. I'm trying to find another venue because I think the probability, personally, I think the probability of us being shut down is pretty high. But it's not been shut down or canceled. It's still on. Do not buy any more coaches' passes. I will refund every coach's pass that's out there. So if you can't make it, you're getting your coach's pass money back. Um, not And do not worry about that deadline. So coach's passes, stop buying them. I'll refund you your money. Uh, give me time to do that. Um, but let's wait till it officially cancels or reschedules, and then we'll go from there. If it gets canceled or rescheduled, the coach's passes are coming back to you. Um, so that's where I'm at. Wanted to give a quick update. Um, I appreciate the support out there. Uh, I I know there's probably a few memes made of me. I already seen one. It's it's uh, classic. Um, so I'm just trying to give you as much information as I have. I'm tr I'm kind of giving you a brutally honest position where we're at. Um, I'm probably not following the diplomatic line of letting the organization give you all your updates. But because I'm personally liable on this event, the hotel rooms, the contract, the equipment, putting everything together, getting everything out, paying the staff, paying everything, that is not under USA Powerlifting, that's under me. So uh, to stay my, with my mouth shut, I'm not good with that. So that's where we're at right now. Um, again, um, if we have to cancel, that'll, that'll cause a lot of stir uh, and I'm trying not to do that. So we should be getting an update here soon, but I don't control the powers at the USA Powerlifting. Uh, I just recently became USA Powerlifting state chair again in Pennsylvania, um, but I am not part of the executive committee. I I barely wear a suit. I barely fit in a suit. Um, so uh, I am a national, was an international referee, but uh, that's not my jam, if you will. So... I appreciate it. Um, thank you for the support. Um, please be patient, and we'll try to get you an update as soon as possible. That's what I know right now. The meet's not canceled yet. We're not prohibited from running there yet. And I am actively looking for a reschedule this summer. That's it for today. Hope everyone has a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.